Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's live Zoo to You. My name is Lexi. I am an educator here at the Stone Zoo. And in our last week in April, I am here with our Gibbon family. So as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to put those in the chat, and I will try my best to answer those at the end. So you might have heard, as I was kind of doing my introduction, we can hear a little bit of their morning gibbon song that we like to call it. So white-cheeked gibbons are a very social animal, and the family of gibbons will occupy a territory. And here at the zoo, this is their territory. And they will defend their territory with a vocal and visual display. And this is kind of like a song duet between the adult female and the adult male. And their two sons will join in sometimes, but mainly it is a duet between our male and our female adults. And this is really cool because it can be heard about two miles away. Now, it's probably not quite that much here in Stoneham because we've got some other traffic going around. Um, but in the wild, a Gibbon family doing this morning ritual song could definitely be heard around two miles away. The other really cool thing about this, in addition to them doing it to defend their territory, is that the the sons will try to join in and they'll typically do it first thing in the morning right around now um, so if you come back in the morning on another day they'll probably be doing it around this time um, but sometimes they will do it in the afternoon as well so as they continue to do their morning ritual <laughs> that was a good one so as they continue to do this, I'm going to talk a little bit more about them and their family group. So in here we have a family of four gibbons. That tan one, the one who looks entirely different, that is Iggy. She is 21 years old and she is the adult female. And then Kian is 20 years old and he is the adult male. Gibbons are monogamous, so they are a mated pair and they will mate for life. And then the other two males in here who are those all dark, their names are Gion, who is six, and True, who is three. So this is Iggy right here, up close and personal. So as you can see, these gibbons have a small, slender body, and they are what's called a tree-dwelling ape. So now I want to take a minute to talk about apes versus monkeys. So people might often think that they have a really monkey looking body. It's really slim and they're able to swing from the trees much like a monkey. But there is one key feature that separates them from monkeys and it is the fact that they do not have a tail. So apes do not have tails whereas monkeys do. So if I, if you leave anything if you learn anything from this zoo to you, let it be that apes do not have tails and monkeys do. So another thing that's really, really cool about their appearance is their arms. Their swinging is just absolutely incredible and their arms are considerably long. So they will walk with their hands above their head to help keep their balance. And as you can see in here in their exhibit, it, they've got a tree in here, they've got lots of ropes and lots of areas to swing from because they will spend most of their time in the trees and swinging from tree to tree. So the form of arm swinging that they do is called brachiating and that is the arboreal locomotion. So simply just moving through the trees. Another really unique thing about these gibbons and the way that they will swing from tree to tree is the fact that they have four long fingers just like us and an opposable thumb just like us but when they're swinging from tree to tree they will only grab on to another tree branch with those four fingers so they don't even use their thumb as they're swinging which I think is really really cool so as I was kind of mentioning back at the beginning this is a family group and they will stay together 
for their entire lives. So the mated pair, Iggy and Kian, will stay together. And these two males will stay with them for their whole lives. And they are often seen grooming each other. This is a common activity that they do um, as a form of bonding. So where do gibbons live? They are native to tropical and subtropical rainforests of Southeast Asia. And in this area, what might they eat? So in this area of tropical and subtropical rainforests of Southeast East Asia, 75% of their diet will be made up of fruit. They would also eat things like leaves, flowers, seeds, tree bark, maybe even some insects. And then here at the zoo, they get lots and lots of fruits and veggies. They get things like apples, bananas, leafy greens, and then all of that grassy stuff in their enclosure is bamboo, and they will actually eat that bamboo as well. And now I want to talk about one of my most favorite things about gibbons. And it is a really, really cool adaptation that they have. So when gibbons are born, the babies are born entirely tan. And this is to blend in with the tan female. Oh, it looks like they're going inside, but we will have to see if they come back outside. They might have just gotten a little chilly, but we can hang out and wait and see. As you can see, they've got those doors that are open, um, which means that they have the choice to come in or outside. And there they are, back outside to play. So as I was saying, gibbons are born all tan as babies to blend into their mom who is entirely tan. And what's really, really cool is that once they are around one year old, they will start to change color. So if anyone remembers back when True was born, so he's about three years old now. So just about two years ago, he was starting to change color and they go from tan to all black. And this is to resemble an adult male so they can stay nice and safe. But males will stay black. And if it is a female gibbon, they will actually turn back to that light tan fur at around seven years old, which is so, so fascinating. And gibbons are a critically endangered species, and this is primarily due to habitat loss in that area of Southeast Asia I was mentioning. This is an area that has a lot of oil palm trees, and this is where we get palm oil from, which is in a lot of the foods and other things that we eat and consume as people. So one way that we can help the gibbon population is to avoid products with palm oil in it. All right, Danya, do we have any questions come in? We do not, but I'm wondering how big are they? That is a fantastic question. So gibbons are typically around three feet tall, give or take, um, not including their arms above their heads, of course, um, and they'll typically weigh between 15 and 30 pounds. Wow. And right now we're just seeing some typical brotherly playing. If any of you have siblings at home, maybe you are a sibling yourself or you have um, children or something like that. This is just typical brotherly playing. And remind me what their names are? Absolutely. So the two that we see here playing on the ground, that is Gion and True, and they are brothers. And then, oh, up in the corner, we have Iggy and Kian, who are grooming one another, and that is the bonded male and female pair. All right, well, I think we are just about out of time, so I just want to say thank you all so much for tuning in to this, mor this morning's Zoo to You. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and a fantastic start to the month of May. Bye.